Hello guys, cat 2 here. Today, we are going to talk about some of the most useful scripts for the games. First, we have the auto acceptor. So what it does is, it helps to accept the matchmaking automatically that when you are away. But sometimes, the accept button is not always on the middle of the screen. So how to fix it? You need two software. The first one is the Notepad++ and another one is the auto hotkey software. As always, the download link is in the description. Uh, right click on it and open with the Notepad++. And all you have to do is change these two lines, the X and Y. But before that, I have to do some explanations about that. So for example, this is a screen, a computer screen. Oh shit. And this is the X axis and this is the Y axis. From here, this is both of them is basically zero and at this point, the x axis is about 50 and here is 100. Yeah, same with the y axis. And here is y equals zero at this point is about 50 and this point is 100. Okay. For example, the accept button is on the top left of the screen, right, about right here. The accept buttons, C C E P T or whatever. Okay, this location is about uh, 25, right? The x axis is about 25, and the y axis is about maybe 18. The y, and you just go back to your script. Uh, let me change this code. Yeah, press. Yeah, go back to your script and change this. The y, the x axis is about mm, 25, right? Yeah, and this is about 18. And the crosshair should be go to this point, about this point, and just save it. Now, when you press N, yeah, you just you just go to there, about that point, about 25. You must also keep going to that place and keep left click it. Yeah, this is basically how it's work. Easy explanations. Number two. Yo, what the fuck? I'm actually making this sound for myself. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, the second script is called the hot string. First, create an auto hotkey script, and then open with Notepad plus plus, and type in anything you want. Save it and you are good to go. And tada! This, this is the hot string here. Yeah. It just helps you to type faster. And the next one, we have the semi to full auto script. Yeah, this is a script that basically turns your gun from the semi auto into full auto. Yeah. And the next one, we have the recoil reductions. It basically just helps you to pull down your mouse a little bit. When you are left clicking, yeah, if you have a low DPM mouse, this should help you a bit. And the next one, we have the crosshair script. It basically just adds a crosshair on your screen, and this is kind of useful if you are playing games like the Black Squad and the CSGO, and also kind of useful if you're using at a PUBG. If you are sucks in Iron Sight, when you press F10, you can choose what crosshair you want, and you can change the color. When you want to hide your crosshair from your screen, you simply press the F11. I normally use this on the Black Squad because the sniper is insane, I mean the quiz scope. You have to set your games in window or full screen window in order to use that script. Yeah, and I think this script is kind of too OP. And the next one, we have the Minecraft Auto Mining. Just put your pix X to the slot 3 to slot 8 and press Z to activate it. Yeah, it will help you to switch the pix X automatically. Yeah, but sometimes you get kicked by the anti cheat by some reasons, I don't know why. Yeah, after you have done mining, all you have to do is go back and see what you found. 
Yeah, as you can see, I just AFK for a few minutes and I got a, almost a stack of irons and some diamonds and a few pieces of gold. And the next script, I don't think it's a script but I'm gonna put it here anyway. And that is the magnify script. Yeah, this, this script just helps you to magnify a certain part of your screen and it helps you to search for the enemy easier. Yeah, this is kind of useful if you are playing like games like Hero in General or Armatry, that kind of game that enemy can hide from a long distance that you have to use a binoculars. But there's also one guy that used the scripts on the Rainbow Six. I think it's, it's turned out pretty good. C, easier to shoot. See, look at the difference. That and that. And we also have a program called the Magnifiers that you can use in game. You can choose how many times you want to magnify. Change the update frequency into 60. And make sure all the setting is same as mine. And this is how it looks like in the game. Yeah, you also can use the window magnifier to do that. Easy. So I think this is the end of the video. If you like this video, like it. If you don't like this video, I will be sad. And by the way, just click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. I mean, uh, it won't cost you any money. Uh, just, just subscribe. Lah. So see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh